That was a year after I graduated from college. Um, my father gave me the most remarkable choice of either going to Europe for a year or graduate school, as if one had to think twice about that. So my dear friend Jane Alexander and I jumped on a student steamship to go to Europe. She to Edinburgh to study supposedly mathematics and me to Paris to study supposedly philosophy. And within two months, Jane was acting in the fringe. I had given up my philosophy classes and was writing my first full-length play. And while I was there, a friend, and I hadn't really known about UNESCO because I never studied theater in college, um, or anywhere for that matter. And this friend said, oh, we must go see these plays at this tiny little Théâtre de la Huchette where they've been playing for almost 50 years. So, um, you know, I went in not knowing what to expect. And um, the French production is done with the utmost restraint and um, is very comme il faut. And the characters, even though they're British, of course, are speaking French. And it's their politesse that is so hilarious because they never crack and they never break under pressure. But the words that they say are, are totally um, delirious and insane. And, and I think what struck me was the familiarity because I grew up in a very literary household with rather eccentric parents. Um, and, and conversation and language was held in very high esteem. But, uh, but our behavior was decidedly aberrant. So to see these uptight British people, you know, behaving on the surface as, as polite people, but then gradually becoming more and more unhinged, was this extraordinary um, familiarity and recognition. And the other thing was that the audience was laughing very, very hard because um, just when you think it can't get any insane or it does become more insane. So it was that combination of of the hijinks on the stage and the audience, the French audience, because they're very responsive, shrieking with laughter, and me shrieking along with them. And um, it was as if I'd been hit in the head with a thunderbolt. It was like, yes, I know this, I understand this. And um, it sort of changed my life. I mean, I knew I wanted to write plays, but I had never seen anything like this before. And um, I. You know, and then I think for a long time his work um, greatly influenced mine. And when I came back to the States, I wrote rather wild plays about female experience.